So, back to Rowley versus Bonac at the 2018 Arnold Classic Australia. I have a couple of things to clarify. I've always been rooting for aesthetics over mass, anytime, any day. Aesthetics over mass. And when I say Bonac should have won, it's because I believe he was more aesthetic than Rowley was. I don't have to adopt the same opinion of the majority if they say that Rowley was better, if I personally think that he wasn't. And I don't have to feel strange or embarrassed about it, just because I am on the side of the minority when it comes to this issue. Understood? And guess what? You are not alone and there are a lot who share you your opinion. So don't shy away just because you happen to have a different opinion. Just because you have a different opinion. Don't shy away. With all due respect for Rowley, and I repeat, I don't have anything personal against Rowley. I like the guy and I feel happy for him for winning his first Arnold Classic title. Congratulations from the bottom of my, of my heart. With all due respect to Rowley, I still believe Bonac was the better contender. I've read a lot of comments saying, Rowley has the wider ribcage and lats, and that's why his front double biceps is better. Well, guess what? Rowley still had a wider ribcage and wider lats at the Arnold Classic two weeks ago, but he was placed fourth. He was placed fourth, right? And this same smaller contender defeated him fair and square. So what's the point, guys? I just don't understand it. Didn't Rolly have wider ribcage and wider lats two weeks ago? Why didn't he win? Just because he looks more ripped? And Bonac looks, what, fatty now? He looks fatty? Another comment says, Rolly has the better arms. Rolly has the better arms? No. Just no. Rolly has the bigger arms. The bigger arms. And there is a huge difference between bigger and better. Rolly has the bigger arms. But not the better arms. Not the more aesthetic arms. Understood? Definitely not the more aesthetic arms. If you know one thing or two about bodybuilding, you'll immediately notice that Bonac has the better biceps. Has the better biceps. But Rolly has the bigger arms overall. And Bonac has the better wheels as well. And I'll keep repeating that. Bonac has the better wheels. More conditioned, more ripped, separated, striated, more huge. Just name it. Just name it. Now when it comes to the front lat spread, there is nothing special about their front lat spread. Both of them. I'm being honest. But as I stated in my previous video, Rowley's dominant and massive shoulders, arms and forearms really distort this pose really overshadow his lats. His massive shoulders, arms and forearms overshadow his lats. You can't argue about that. Bonac, on the other hand, although not as wide, yet more balanced. He is more balanced. Do you understand the meaning of the word balance? He is more balanced and can show his lats better than Rolly does. Now, when it comes to the back double biceps, Bonac destroys Rolly from the back. In this pose, I mean. He destroys Rolly. He is more ripped. And he is more aesthetic. 
I just can't ignore the fact that Rolly's lower back is flattened. And I'll keep saying that. And I'll keep denging him for that. There is nothing personal against him. I repeat, there is nothing personal against Rolly. But what is right is right. I'll keep dinging him for having a flattened lower back. And his traps, and his traps is not pleasant to look at. I don't want to say ugly, but just behold the gap in the traps. Compare his traps to those of Bonac. Bonac's lower section is on another level. It is on another level. His glutes, his overall wheels, the hamstrings, the calves. And you would notice that immediately if you knew one thing or two about bodybuilding. And please, just don't underestimate this pose. Don't underestimate it just because you want Rolly to win. He won. Okay, congratulations, he won. But don't just say that, ah, it's just double back biceps. Really? Really? Didn't Dorian Yates defeat Sean Ray <clears throat> and Nasser Sambati more than 20 years ago from the back, although he had melted biceps? Didn't he defeat them back then from the back, although he had melted biceps? And you are still rooting for Dorian, and you are still defending him, although deep down you know he had a flow in his physique, namely his biceps. But you just ignore that because he had a superior back. Now, I'm not saying that Bonac's back is as good as Dorian's was. I'm not saying that at all. But Rolly's back, double biceps, is not good. Is not good. And that's the least to say about it. Just face it. His double back biceps is not good. Now, when it comes to the lat spread, Bonac has achieved noticeable progress in the lat spread. And he doesn't look as flattened as he was two weeks ago. But to be honest, Roly on the other side also looks great and his lats are wide and thick. So I would give it to Rolly when it comes to this pose because of the width and the spread of his lats. But again, and I can't ignore that, because I am beholding and, and judging a whole package. Okay? I'm judging the whole package. I can't ignore the fact that the lower section goes to Bonac. The lower section, the glutes, the hamstrings, the overall quads, and the calves go to Bonac. Whether you like it or not. How about that? The abs and thighs. Rolly's midsection is probably his greatest achievement. His greatest achievement. He overcame the bubble gut and props for him for achieving that. This pose definitely goes to Rolly as I am not a fan of Bonac's midsection and I've stated that many times in my previous videos. But again, and again, behold Bonac's wheels. Look at his wheels and tell me Rolly looks better now. Come on, tell me Rolly looks better. You are just being so delusional. There is no way Rolly would edge Bonac when it comes to the wheels. I mean, name it. The separation, the ripped quads, the striations, the overall size and aesthetics. All goes to Bonac. All goes to Bonac. And again, whether you like it or not. The most muscular pose. This pose truly defines the difference between a mass monster and an, and an aesthetic monster, in a sense. The difference between a mass monster and aesthetics monster. Clear? 
Rowley looks impressive about his shoulders, I mean, his shoulders look insane, his arms and forearms, but any aesthetics there? Any aesthetics in his physique when he hits this pose? Any aesthetics? Can you see any aesthetics in there? Big no. No, he's just a mass monster, a mountain of muscles. Cool. But for me personally, for someone who appreciates aesthetics over mass, it's not just, it's just not that impressive. I'm talking about myself. It's not that impressive for me. Bonac, on the other hand, shows incredible balance. And again, underline the word balance. He shows incredible balance with each muscle group takes its place and shows perfectly. His rounded shoulders, ripped chest, incredible arms and insane striated wheels, which are easily, easily way better than those of Rowley. Bottom line, I would choose Bonac anytime, any day. And I still believe he should have won with all due respect for Mr. Rolly Winkler. I still believe that Bonac should have won. Aesthetics over mass, anytime, any day. That was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.